Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about angioid cells. The term angioid literally means resembling a blood vessel. Angioid stakes are bilateral, narrow, irregular lines, deep to the retina, configured in a radiating fashion, emanating from the optic disc. Angioid stakes result from breaks in a weakened Brooks membrane. Angioid stakes are basically crack-like dehiscences in brittle, thickened and calcified Brooks membrane which is associated with atrophy of overlying retinal pigment epithelium. 50% of cases of angioid stakes have a systemic association. Now let us discuss about the various systemic associations of angioid stakes. The most common association is pseudoxanthoma elasticum. It is an hereditary disorder of connective tissue in which there is progressive calcification, fragmentation and degeneration of elastic fibers in skin, eye and CVS that is cardiovascular system. This degeneration in the eye causes angioid stakes. This picture shows a patient with pseudoxanthoma elasticum showing degenerative changes in the skin. The second association is Paget disease. It is a chronic progressive metabolic bone disease characterized by excessive and disorganized resorption and formation of bone. The calcium binds to elastin of Brooks membrane imparting brittleness and fragility. Other associations are hemoglobinopathies including sickle cell trait and sickle cell disease and thalassemia. In this case, there is a brittle Brooks membrane due to iron deposition. Now let us discuss about the signs of angioid streaks. There will be grey or dark red linear lesions with irregular serrated edges that intercommunicate in a ring-like fashion around the optic disc and radiate towards from peripapillary area. This picture shows angioid streaks. These streaks tend to increase in width and extent slowly over time. There can be pudy orange appearance which is also known as leopard skin, mottled yellowish speckling which is common and particularly seen in cases associated with PXC. This picture shows pudy orange appearance in a case of angioid streak. Angioid streaks are frequently associated with optic disc bruising. This picture shows angioid streaks and the associated optic disc bruising and this is infrared image of the same. Scleral depression is relatively contraindicated in eyes with angioid streaks due to the risk of further damage to Brooks membrane leading to new angioid streaks or choroidal rupture. Coming to the complications of angioid streaks, patients with angioid streaks are typically asymptomatic at first. However, visual impairment occurs eventually in over 70% of patients. The most common cause of visual loss in patients with angioid streaks is choroidal neovascularization. There can be choroidal rupture following a relatively trivial trauma in cases of angioid streaks. This picture shows subretinal hemorrhage following choroidal rupture in the case of angioid streak. There can also be foveal involvement by an angioid streak leading to impairment of vision. Coming to the investigations done for a case of angioid streak, red free photography can be done to demonstrate the angioid streaks. Fundus fluorescein angiography can be done. It shows hyperfluorescent window defects due to RPE atrophy overlaying the streaks. This picture shows the hyperfluorescent window defects seen in the case of angioid streaks. It is also associated with variable hypofluorescence corresponding to RPE hyperplasia. Remember, fundus fluorescein angiography is indicated only if choroidal neovascularization is suspected in cases of angioid streaks. Coming to fundus autofluorescence, the angioid streaks are autofluorescent. They are often more extensive than clinically which may confirm the diagnosis in subtle cases. Fundus autofluorescence also demonstrates beauty orange appearance. Coming to the treatment of angioid streaks, systemic investigation should be done and physician opinion should be sought whenever we pick up angioid streaks. Most cases can be treated by observation and patients should be warned against participating in contact sports and they should be advised to wear protective spectacles. Choroidal neovascularization in a case of angioid streaks can be treated with intravitreal anti-VEGF agents. However, choroidal neovascularization in angioid streaks usually recurs or develops at a new site after treatment. Thank you.